Understanding, poking the bear, a phrase unpacked. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind the popular English phrase, poking the bear. It's a phrase you might have heard in movies, on TV shows, or even in everyday conversations. Understanding phrases like these can add a lot of color and depth to your English conversations. So, let's dive in and explore what it really means to poke the bear. The phrase, poking the bear, actually comes from a very visual and literal scenario. Imagine someone literally poking a sleeping or peaceful bear. It's easy to visualize that this action would agitate the bear, potentially leading to a dangerous reaction. The bear, in this context, is minding its own business and the person poking it is initiating an unnecessary risk. This vivid imagery forms the backbone of the metaphorical use of this phrase in everyday language. In a metaphorical sense, poking the bear refers to doing something that is risky, provoking, or agitating, especially when it's unnecessary or could lead to negative consequences. It's often used when someone is aggravating a person or a situation that is best left alone. For instance, 1. Arguing with the boss about a small mistake is like poking the bear. It's better to be cautious and avoid that confrontation. 2. She knew that bringing up his past failures was like poking the bear, but she did it anyway. In these examples, the bear is a metaphor for a potentially volatile situation or person, and poking symbolizes the act of provocation or agitation. Poking the bear can be used in various contexts, from personal relationships to professional environments. It's a versatile phrase that encapsulates the idea of inciting trouble or provocation. However, it's important to note the tone and context when using this phrase, as it implies a level of risk and potential conflict. This phrase is commonly used in English-speaking countries and is understood by most native speakers. It appears in popular culture, including movies, TV shows, and literature, often to add a dramatic effect or to emphasize the riskiness of a certain action. Understanding such phrases can give you a deeper insight into English-speaking cultures and help you appreciate the nuances in different forms of communication. And that's a wrap on Poking the Bear. We hope this video helps you understand not just the meaning of the phrase, but also the nuances and contexts in which it can be used. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the stories and images those words conjure up in our minds. So, next time you hear someone say they're poking the bear, you'll know exactly what they mean. Thanks for watching, and we hope you found this video helpful.